My son, take this fleeting last minute words down for all to hear who would listen. My children, oh my children, as your father, your creator, your God who art in heaven, I have some words for you. My children, most of you are wondering about the rapture of the true church, the rapture of my sons, of my daughters. Well has your God, I am here to dispel, debunk, and basically tell you who will be raptured and who will not. Let us begin by once. First open your Bibles to the book of Romans and go to chapter 8 and read the whole chapter. Well, my children, can you tell me the first criteria for the rapture? If you read Romans 8, 14, it says what? For as many are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. Now, my children, if you are not being led by my Spirit, then I will not take you. Why? Because you are not, and not one of mine, my own. Let's read on, shall we? Turn to the book of Hebrews chapter 12 and read. O oh, my children, you are so being led astray. What does verse 25 say? Please read it again and again and again and yet again until you understand this one thing. If you do not hearken to my voice, your father, then you are not led by my voice. So how can my spirit lead you? How? Does not my words in the book of Revelation say, If any man answers my knock, I will sup with them. Does it say that? If you do not answer when I call, then you tell me, Are you in disobedience to your God's voice? or just plain ignorant. I want my voice answered and obeyed. I am God, your creator, an all-powerful being. I am the Alpha, Omega, beginning and end, and you shall suffer if you reject your God's call to you. My children, this gets better. Please read up to verse 14 in the same chapter of Hebrews chapter 12. Does it say you will see my son Jesus the Christ the Lord if you walk in holiness or will not? Does it not say you will not see the Lord if you do not walk in holiness? So my ones, my children, my prideful stubborn children, so set in your pathetic ways, so grounded in man's teachings, again I have to spell this out for the hard-headed. If you cannot see my son, the Lord, Jesus the Christ, how are you supposed to be expected to be raptured for a wedding when you cannot see the groom? How can you? Please answer me that, my children. Please. Oh, my children, this gets even better for you. My wedding banquet is all set and ready, and those deemed worthy will be there. What is that, my children? Did you miss those words, deemed worthy? Well, let's go look, shall we? Turn to the book of Luke. And what does it say in the book about being worthy? Are you deemed worthy if you are not a son or daughter of God? In disobedience, I do not walk in holiness, my holiness, to see my son. No, you are not deemed worthy. My children, it gets even better for you. Please turn to the book of Matthew chapter 22 and please read it, the whole chapter. My children, is not all, everyone collected, some with full wedding attire, some without. Is your attire spotless, blameless, not wrinkled, pure white, or are you without a full garment? Ask yourselves, please. In those words, is not the unworthy cast out of the wedding banquet? Does it not say it, the unworthy there? My children, you let Satan teach you through his teachings, not my Holy Spirit. You, my children, have but a fleeting chance to sit and truly learn from me before my son comes for the worthy. 
The rest will need purification and a lot of it. So sit and ponder all of these things, my children, for your time has come, and now will end. Obey my voice, obey my voice. I cannot be more clearer than what this messenger has been told to write down for you. Seek me now with all you have. Cut your code to this world now. My son comes for an obedient, spotless, wrinkle-free, blameless, worthy bride. Is that you? Your father, your God. <laughs>